Dr. Neil Wright says there are probably two areas where Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine spine surgery sets itself apart from others in the community. First is we're used to dealing with complex problems. So problems that uh, the average person in the community may not see very often, we see with quite a bit of regularity and frequency. One example of that would be tumors of the spine or spinal cord. Those are relatively rare in the community, but since we have such a large area that we cover as a tertiary care center, we see quite a few tumors of the spine and spinal cord. An example of what sets Dr. Wright and his colleagues apart is a procedure he himself developed, a specific procedure that has become the standard in treating problems with the top of the spine. The old surgery involved putting screws into bone very close to an artery to the brain, which put the patients at risk of stroke. And so in 2003, I was able to find a different way of putting the screws into the bone such that we're able to place them far away from those vertebral arteries and still provide good support. So since then, this technique, which is called translaminar fixation or C2 laminar screws, has become popular not only here in the region, but also in the United States and worldwide. Dr. Wright says the most common cause of spinal problems is degenerative disc disease, which can hit anyone from their 30s on, often from simple wear and tear on the bones. So ACDF is um, probably the most common spine surgery that we do, and it stands for anterior cervical discectomy infusion. Simply means it's from the front of the neck, that's anterior and cervical. Discectomy is that we're removing uh, the damaged disc of your neck and fusion is what we do uh, after we remove that disc to restore the stability of the spine. So the surgery for an anterior cervical discectomy infusion is typically about an hour. Uh, recovery in the hospital is less than 23 hours, so we're sometimes going home the same day as surgery, more commonly going home the following morning. The first few weeks is having a stiff neck, achy neck, a sore throat, uh, some feeling a lump in your, in your throat when you're swallowing, and most people feel they're about 80% back to normal in about three or four weeks usually 100% back to normal in about six weeks. Dr. Wright says in many cases, other therapies should be attempted before considering spinal surgery. There are times, though, where it's not appropriate to be conservative. So if someone has a herniated disc with pressure on the spinal cord and evidence of damage to the spinal cord, there's not much role for conservative treatment in that situation. In that situation, the best treatment is the surgery to protect the spinal cord. Since doctors here are often in FDA trials, patients also have access to technology like artificial discs before the general population, often with a multidisciplinary approach. So if you have a tumor of the spine or spinal cord, uh, you're seen by the neurosurgeon uh, or an orthopedic spine surgeon. You're seen by medical oncologists, radiation oncologists. We discuss you at our uh, uh, team meetings to come up with the best customized approach for your specific disease and your specific problem.